Hello and welcome back to another episode of Smart Tips. My name is Gavin Brennan. I'm a product specialist here at Smart Suite. We have an exciting episode today because we're going to be going over Smart Suite's newest feature, which are pre-filled forms, and how they can help to simplify change requests and improve efficiency. So what is a pre-filled form? Essentially, it's just a regular Smart Suite form that has some of the fields already filled in by the time that a user touches it. Now, this is useful if you want it to link to a certain record if you're sending it to a specific person or you want some information that'll be basic to every single person that fills out the form to already be filled in. In this example, we are an event planning company. We have weddings, galas, bachelor parties, all the works. And sometimes we get change requests to these orders. So in this case, we have our orders table right here with our status and all that. And then we have a change request table where users can go and fill out a form where they can make changes to their associated order. The problem with that right now is that you have to go into the form and you either have to A, go and select the event that you're participating in, in which case you'd have access to all these other events, or you would need to go and create some unique identifier like we did in the Smart Tips episode from a few weeks ago. But imagine if you could have this linked record automatically filled out depending on who you send it to. So in this case, imagine we're sending a mass email to everyone involved with the Smart Suite Gala. We know that the order for all of those change requests would be associated with the Smart Suite Gala. So imagine if you had the form that would automatically fill in that order and you could even hide this linked record field away from view so they don't have an option to change it. And then once they come into your system and that record is created, all of them are already linked to the event that you want. Now, as of right now, the way that you'd make this change is actually to the URL itself. If you want to have pre-filled variables already inside of the form, you need to make adjustments to this link. So I'm going to attach in the description a help article that my teammate Brian wrote that goes into a lot of detail on the specifics for how you should make these URL changes. But for the purposes of this video, I just want you guys to think about this basic format which essentially takes the URL of the form that you'd have anyways. You add a question mark to the end of that URL, followed by the word prefill underscore, and then the parameter. The parameter is essentially just the field that you want to fill in equals the value. I know this may seem complex. If you've never had experience working with URLs, you might be a little bit like, hey, what's going on here? And that makes total sense. So in my case, I created a formula that essentially just takes the base URL link and then pre-fills the order, which is the field for the linked record with the title of the order. So if we were to go into this formula, we can go and see how it fills in these basic parameters, right? So first we have our link to the form. Now this is the link that you would share anyways to the form. Then you have a question mark and then the word pre-fill and an underscore. Now, this prefill is case sensitive. So you're going to want to make sure that the P is capitalized and it looks essentially the same way that I have it right here with the question mark. And then you're going to put in the name of the field that you are changing. So this is going to be order. And then I have an equals and then I have the title. This just pulls the title from the, the record that I'm working in. Now, when you see this function, if you're like me, you might be a little bit intimidated because I've never used this function inside of SmartSuite. But this essentially just takes whatever your title is and encodes it to be friendly with the URL because in a URL, you can't have spaces and all that. This concatenate just turns this all into one big string. And then at the end, we end up with a formula like these. And then if I were to copy and paste this, then this should prefill with Wedding in Carmel. There we go. And then I can go and make the changes to time location, say make changes. And boom, it's already linked. And that essentially sums it up. It's just changes to the URL that allows you to go and make those changes to what is pre-filled and what is not. I'm super excited to see how the community goes and takes this and finds new ways to become more efficient. So if you find an interesting use case for pre-filled forms, go and leave that down in the comments. And until next week, enjoy SmartSuite.